Okay. Angela transforms rectangle PQRS into rectangle JKLM. The corresponding sides of rectangle PQRS and JKLM are not congruent. Select all the transformations that Angelo could have used. So the ones that aren't congruent would be a dilation, because like a dilation would cause a shape to like grow or shrink to a point where the sides are not congruent. So as I go through this, I'm looking for anything that's a dilation or possibly a stretch. So I'm looking for them to multiply the coordinates by something to make it bigger, the shape bigger or smaller. So this here, they're just like reflecting that point. So it's not growing or shrinking. So not that one. This one, they're multiplying the coordinates by three. So that means that the shape is growing by a scale factor of three. So this one, not congruent to the original and it's what we're looking for. This one, again, just a reflection over the x-axis. So this one's not growing or shrinking. It's staying the same size. This one, they're multiplying by scale factor 1.5. So it is growing or shrinking. This one, it's just changing location. It's going to left two, up three, but it's not sh changing shape or size. So these are the two correct answers. The next one, point P is at negative 1, 4, lies on the segment QR with endpoints here. Match each ratio of segment lengths to the correct numerical ratio. Okay. Um, I put this graph paper on here so we could graph it. We haven't seen this for a minute, probably since the beginning of the year. So... Um, I'm going to graph the points to get started. So point P is at negative 1, 4. Q is at 1, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5. And then R is at negative 9, negative 8. Now that you have your points plotted, I would draw the line just on the test. Use your ID to get a perfectly straight line because that will help you solve it. And the smaller your dots, the more accurate your line will be as well, just FYI. Okay, so the first one, so with ratios, it's one part to four parts, or one part to five, four to four parts to five parts. QP would be this part of the segment. PR is this part. It wants to know whether this is a one to four ratio, or a one to five, or four to five. Um, so QP right here, and then PR would be all of this. It's hard to tell whether this is like four parts compared to that or whatnot, but if you look at where this line intersects here, so like right here, right here, and right here. So you look where it perfectly intersects the other lines. Now you can see the parts. There's one part here, two, three, four, and then five. So QP, one part, PR would then be four parts. So this is the correct answer right here for that. And then QP to QR, QP right here. QR is the whole thing, which is one, two, three, four, five parts total. So one to five. Okay, and then last but not least, we've seen this one before. We're rotating this rectangle around this line 360 degrees and determining what 3D shape that would make. The answer is B. It would keep that space. It's just rotating all the way around, same distance from the line, and it would make this shape. And that's it all.